This is a Bitex transceiver. In this video, I want to talk about setting up the BFO. This setting is critically important and it can affect your ability to be heard, particularly when conditions are poor. To adjust the BFO, you need to be in the setup menu. The setup needs to be on. If it says setup off question mark, it means that it is. You access these settings by pressing the VFO knob and turning it until the desired menu appears. Then if it's a variable setting, you can adjust it to your desired value. In this case, we want to set the BFO. When you're doing this, the readout defaults to 11.9950. Notice how you adjust it, the pitch from the receiver changes. It gets lower. Then, if you keep adjusting it, to above 12 megahertz, it goes higher again. We need to be somewhere below 12 megahertz. So we'll go back down. Now the exact setting will vary slightly. Right beside the BitX is an FT817 with its antenna connection removed. We'll use this for receive testing. One, two, three, four, five. 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 As you can hear, the audio is very peaky. There's lots of highs and no lows. That's because the setting of our BFO is incorrect. Now we'll try a different frequency. 11.997. One, two, three, four, five, VK, three YE, VK, three Yankee Echo testing. With the carrier oscillator set to 11.997, the audio is much more mellow. But I think we've overshot what is optimum. The sort of audio you just heard would not penetrate well if your signal is not very strong. That's often the case if you're a QRP, especially if you're trying to work longer distance stations or there's interference. We need to adjust the micro bit X so its BFO is at a different setting, somewhere in between 11.996 and 11.997. Let's try 11.9965. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. With the BFO on 11.9965, the audio is somewhat sharp. Some might regard it as not being pleasant to listen to, but it is likely to penetrate, especially if your signal is weak and there's interference at the other end. Some people may prefer a more mellow sound. It might even suit their voice better. So we'll try another adjustment, this time at 11.9968. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That sounded a bit muffled, so we'll go down a little bit in frequency. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That is probably about optimum. 2,500 kilometres away is this remote software-defined receiver on the North Island of New Zealand. The band is active with many stations from Asia and North America. That follows as its darkness over the Pacific, it being around 8.40pm local time here in Melbourne. Let's see how the micro bit X sounds over this distance, with the BFO adjusted. Nine, nine, six, seven. Nine, 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 nine,
If you want to get the most from Amateur Radio, check out my ebooks Minimum QRP, Hand Carried QRP Antennas, and Getting Back into Amateur Radio. The books are available in electronic form and in some countries in paperback as well.